police services in crisis as a result of the cuts. They're being dragged from pillar to post. We hear talk of extra police officers on the street. They're not extra. They're officers that have had their rare leave days cancelled. They've had their 12-hour shifts that are now done routinely extended to 16 hours. They're being drawn from other areas. The officers we see behind us are from Kingston, uh, from uh, Hounslow and Hillingdon. They're not extra officers at all. They're from other duties and they're being burned out. But more armed police officers on the streets than ever before, we're told? Uh, no. Armed police officers no. on the streets than ever before? No, they're not. Basically, people that are alleging that are lying. So the government are lying? Yes. The Defence Secretary is lying when yes, he says Yes, they funded bringing us back to this, the number of armed officers we had in 2010 by 2020. And they've got to address a number of issues in order to get there. The Prime Minister was previously, of course, Home Secretary for six years. She's saying that we need to now change the way that we are approaching terrorism here in the United Kingdom. What sort of uh, advice, what sort of support do you think she needs to offer the police service? I heard her speech and she raised four things that needed to change. She missed the most obvious, urgent one, which is to deal with the uh, cuts to ordinary policing. Yes, all those other things that she said, long-term impacts and all the rest of it, yes, they're all valid. But what needs to be done, and it needs to be done immediately, is reverse and stop and reverse the cuts to ordinary policing. They're needed in intelligence gathering from communities. They're needed in monitoring those 23,000 very low-level uh, people that are, in inverted commas, known to the police and security services in their community. And just to clarify, you say that the government is lying about the number of armed police officers that are on the streets of the United Kingdom. Yes, in 2010 we had 1,000 uh, plus more. Um, they are, uh, they've got a plan in place and they've said they've funded, not totally, but they've part funded, bringing that up again by 2020. We are not there yet. We saw a brilliant response in London here uh, last night. We saw it in Westminster uh, a month or so ago. We saw it in Manchester a couple of weeks ago. If this had happened anywhere else, you would not be seeing that response. It is threadbare elsewhere in the country.